Morris Farmers. Many farms again. I'm Morris. Uh, last time we talked about the care and the management of kids. One of the things that we talked about was uh, how these goats get the right nutrition from milk. But we find that most times uh, we have a challenge whereby the mother goats or the does do not have enough milk or they do not have milk at all. What is causing this and how can we uh, go about this at our farms? Today we are going to discuss about it. Uh, first of all, the possible causes farmers. One is uh, sometimes we as farmers, we are the ones bringing it simply because we breed the young animals, the young does, the nannies, when they have not reached the optimum weight. We breed them when they are young and at the end you find that they get a challenge. Uh, they, they give birth and they do not have a lot of milk. Why? Because by the time you, you, you bred them, they were still growing. So now, all the energies and the nutrients they were using, they are now being utilized by the, when, in the process of pregnancy. So you find that at the end, the nutrients that would be used for milk production, or milk letdown, would be consumed already. And at the end, you'll find that one, the goat will produce if you get a chance, but in most cases, they abort these young ones or they get difficulties in giving birth. Once, once it gives birth, you find that it is not having enough milk. Uh, and that is one issue. So to avoid that farmers, you have now the solution. The solution is to make sure that you wait for your goat to be mature. Wait for at least eight months when the goat has the optimum weight, when it is, it is now ready for mating or breeding. Second thing, farmers, it is a nutritional deficiency. The goats roam around and you, you are not sure of the nutrients, the feeds, they, the quality of feeds they are taking. So when like, they do not have the right nutrition, when they have that deficiency, you find that they will not have enough milk uh, at the time of giving birth. The few nutrients that they had before being pregnant, they utilize them. Remember when it is pregnant, it, it is two, in, we call them two, two in one. It is having the kid that is taking, which, which is in the stomach, and the kid is also utilizing the nutrients, the guts itself. So you find that all the reserves throughout the pregnancy period are utilized, and at the end, what would be for milk production is, is off, it is being utilized, and the goat will not have the nutrients. So another reason why these goats will have low or no milk at all uh, is all about the mineral imbalance, especially the calcium, which is being utilized in uh, milk production. So when they do not have that, you will find that your goat is not having enough milk at birth. However, also farmers, we have other, like the occurrence of diseases, like brucellosis, milk fever, these ones will affect your goat not to have milk. Another thing which is important that we sometimes we forget is the, the stressing factors around our farms. When these goats are overstressed, uh, stress is being brought about by many uh, causes, like the feeding, overcrowding, majorly that. So when you do not uh, consider, put that into consideration, uh, the goats will be uh, having less milk because of stress. When stress comes in, goats will not eat enough. And as, as you know, when they do not eat enough, the, the end result is less uh, production of milk or no production of milk. Uh, another issue is also about the internal and external parasites. These uh, parasites will drain them. They will eat up them. To, also, they can also cause stress, but still, they drain the animals. They take off the nutrients. And you find that 
what would be used for milk production is taken away from the goat. Uh, farmers, the solution is one, uh, before we go to the solutions, also naturally, there is a time factor which we should not worry about. Uh, we have gotten issues whereby farmers, when a goat has just given birth, they call you that uh, our, our goat is not having enough milk, but sometimes it is natural. Milk letdown sometimes is also uh, being brought about by the demand. When the kid is still young at the time of giving birth, the demand of milk is low, so the milk production naturally will be low. So that one is not a, a, a worry, but we need to, dis, to, to study uh, the goat and the conditions. So farmers, the solution is one, first of all is uh, planning what we have been telling you. You need to plan, have a breeding plan, should not select the young animals to be mated. Uh, and also you should consider the history of the goats. You should not select a goat for breeding from uh, the family where it has been an issue with milk production. So this is what we always tell our farmers. So secondly on nutrition, uh, majorly we have two factors. We, we need proteins in milk production and also calcium. These are the raw materials for milk production. So what we do is to make sure that we give goats uh, proteinous uh, feeds, especially from legumes. Legumes are rich in proteins and calcium. So these are the uh, raw, as I've told you, they are the raw materials for milk production. So you need to take into consideration that. And also during the pregnancy period, as many farms, we have made life easy. We have made the proteinous uh, pellets for these uh, lactating mothers to make sure that they have enough milk production. So we balance all the nutrients. Then also the minerals. Uh, make sure that you have a mineral block which is rich in all the nutrients. Vitamins, uh, calcium, which I've told, talked about, make sure that the goats are served with the mineralic block in addition to. So, uh, and also we make sure that we have, you see milk is having water. So we, if you don't give your goats water, don't expect milk. So you need to serve them a lot, sufficient water, such that the, the production is high. Then also farmers, uh, you need to fight the external and internal parasites. Make sure that you make weekly spray uh, and fight them. Deworm accordingly, but don't deworm anyhow the pregnant animals. We have recommended uh, dewormers for them. And also in the first months you should not deworm. Wait and get recommendations from uh, technical people on how to deworm these goats when they are pregnant. Uh, then also farmers, uh, avoid stressful factors. Make sure that these pregnant goats are not uh, disturbed by the rest. Have their pain their, for them. That's We call them the maternity uh, pain or the mother pain. Make sure that they are separated such that they are independent, they, they, you don't have any fights, uh, you should not have any disturbance from the males. Uh, so we need to put all these into consideration. Make sure that the pen is clean, ensure the biosecurity is taken care of, and then also induce them to produce more milk. Some people, uh, when the God has given birth, they do not mind let the goat get the bondage with the kid. When the kid is sucking it, it will stimulate it to produce more milk. So farmers, kindly reach out to us, especially as many farms. We have for you the product, that is the, the, the pellets that we have made throughout our research, which has worked for us, that we have made purposely for these goats. Uh, I thank you and please come to us, 
for the guidance. We are here to serve you. I remain Morris Menit Farms. I thank you.